open seas auction tutorial hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to be telling you how you can start your very own auction on open seas so without wasting any more of your time let's just jump into the video so the first thing that i want you guys to do is come over to openseas.io this is their original website now as you can see over here it's pretty cool it's really it's really sick over here we can see we have all these different nfts and platforms and over here we can see we have all these different collections and creators of the last seven days and then down below we have all these trending categories about different nfts so what we need to do now is we need to simply sign up and you can sign up by coming over here and clicking on this button over here called create now once we click on the create we'll have to connect our wallet so we have metamask we have coinbase wallet we have wallet connect and we have fortmatic and we have other options as well as you can see we have all these different types of wallets that we can connect to and once we have connected it we have signed up we can go ahead and start creating different nfts so over here let me just go ahead and connect my metamask wallet click on metamask as you can see i have the extension installed what you will have to do is if you don't have the extension installed all you got to do is just simply click on it and you will have to create an account on metamask or any other wallet that you see on open seas and then just simply create an account on it and just simply click on get started now over here as you can see uh, i already have a wallet i have a recovery phrase and then uh, yes let's get started so i already had a recovery phrase so let me just go ahead and try to find my recovery phrase if i can find it so okay i couldn't find my recovery phrase so now i have to create a new metamask wallet so let's go ahead and click on create a wallet simply click on agree and over here just simply enter in your password and then confirm your password and, cl and click on this button to agree to their terms and services so i'm gonna go ahead and sign up and i'll see you guys in a little bit once you have entered in your password just simply click on next and over here you will see your recovery phase now this is very important you don't have to reveal your recovery you don't you don't really need to reveal your secret words because when you do other people can log into your wallet and they can steal all of your data so make sure you hide your keywords and keep them in a secure place so you don't forget them as well don't be an idiot like me so i'm gonna go ahead and sign up and i'll catch you guys in a little bit so as you can see over here i have you know successfully signed up onto metamask and i have passed the test now let's just simply click on all done click on next connect and as you can see it's connecting and, and down below we can go ahead and swap a mobile over here and stay connected to it as well and that is basically it we can go ahead and sign in so let's go ahead and choose the metamask wallet in the create section over here wait a couple of seconds to make sure everything loads up properly and once you have done that over here as you can see we have the sign in option over here click on sign in and that is basically it one and that is basically it once we have done that we can see we have this option in front of us so now what we have to do is we have to create an item and it can be a image video audio or 3d model so and just simply click on over here and you can upload all these different types of files so you have jpeg png gifs svg mp4s web files web files mp3 wave and many many more so the maximum size should be 100 megabytes nothing more so just simply click over here and and upload it or simply drag and drop your file and then down below you will have to enter in the name of your file so make sure it's unique and catchy as well and then down below you have the external link option and what that basically means is that you will have to input a external link to your website or to a page where you have uploaded all of your detailed so that people can see that you are a professional creator and that what you are selling is legit and it's not fake at all and then down below you have to provide a detailed description of your item so what that basically means is that it will basically include one item's detail page underneath the image so that people can see what type of image it is how it came to be its history and how you made it and stuff like that basically it can be anything that you want just make sure that the description you're providing is about your item 
and then down below you have collections so basically if you have created a collection you can go ahead and select that collection and you can upload that item tool into that collection so that when people buy that certain collection they can buy all of the nfts that you have added into it and then down below you have properties you have levels stats and unlockable content and explicit content or sensitive content as well so what that basically means is that in properties you will have textual traits that show up as rectangles and then in levels basically that means that you will have numerical traits that show up as a progress bar and then in stats you have numerical traits that show up as numbers so you can add them as well but i'm gonna go ahead and leave that for now and then down below you have to enter in the supply of the nft that you are you know that you are uploading so it can be one two or how many you want and then down below you have blockchains what that basically means is that you can select a certain category of blockchain that you want to be paid in and different blockchains have different pros and cons so if you select ethereum so you have to pay a certain amount of fee to upload onto open seas but that is a con but the pros is that you will you will sell it easily and you can make more money now if you choose polygon you can upload your nft for free but what that basically means is that you won't be able to sell it quickly and you might earn a little less than you will earn on ethereum so make sure you choose properly so i'm gonna go ahead and select polygon and i'm gonna go ahead and fill out all of these things so that you guys don't have to so i'll catch you guys in a little bit so as you can see over here i have recently created this e this nft i basically took a screenshot of my ethereum wallet and i basically uploaded it over here and i named it zero eth <clears throat> because i have zero eth in my wallet so you know i thought it was pretty funny but that yeah and after that i just simply clicked on create and now i have created this uh, nft so now as you can see over here the nft is live and it's pretty simple it's really good now over here down below we will have listing and orders we have details and description and we have price history and many many more so what we can basically do is we can simply click on sell now once we click on sell what we have to do is we have to enter in the amount of we want our listing to be sold in and then down below we have the duration of the price and sale and then down below we have we can reserve it for specific buyers so what we can basically do is we can go back over here click on listing and click on sell so let's just assume that i'm selling it for one ethereum right based not even one basically 0 0.001 so let's just assume that i'm selling it for this much right so now what we have to do is we can over here we can start the bidding period basically we can let the date range from from six months let's just say so from starting from today's date and the ending date that's the six month period and within those periods we have a chance of selling it so what that basically means is that we have to we have a six month period and once we have everything set up all we have to do is click on complete listing and then what we have to do is just wait for it and over here we have to complete the following steps so we have to unlock the currency we have to submit a transaction with your wallet to trade with this currency this only needs to be done once so right now we're using polygon so that's why we have to do that and after that we have the sign message basically we have to sign a message so that we can authenticate it and once we have done that basically we have created our listing and that is basically it that is how we you know usually start our auction over onto open seas okay guys so basically i had to go back and edit it and change my blockchain to ethereum because i think on polygon we can't you know basically provide an auction so make sure you do that make sure you select ethereum so once you have done that just simply click on sell and over here you have the option of a fixed price or a timed auction simply choose timed auction and over here you can sell it to the highest bidder and then you can choose the amount that you are looking for basically this is going to be amount this is going to be the, the amount the bid is going to start and then the, you can enter in a duration let's just go for three days or one day or a week or we can even change the date to like you know uh next year in uh, up to like 28th of february 
let's just simply enter in 28th 01 and 2022 so yeah that is the date let's just assume that that's the date that we want and once we have done that uh okay so the end date must be at least 15 minutes after the start date okay so it is after the oh i don't understand why it's saying that but let's just say that one week is enough okay so one week and after that after that all we have to do is complete click on complete listing and and that is basically it so we cannot schedule on an english auction for the future okay that's fine but that's basically it like that is how we you know make a auction of our nfts on open seas so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notification and having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye